hello students in uh, last class we were discussing about the supply that was the quantity of a commodity quantity of a commodity which the sellers are willing and able to offer for sale at particular time and particular price okay we have discussed about the meaning of supply supply is nothing but the quantity of a commodity the quantity of a commodity which the sellers are willing and able to offer for sale willing and able to offer for sale at a particular price and at a particular period of time that was the meaning of supply and also we discussed supply curve of a firm supply curve of a firm supply curve of a firm shows the quantity of a commodity quantity of a commodity produced by a firm at a different price levels are you understanding the supply curve of a firm shows the levels of output levels of output produced by firm produced by the firm at different price levels at a different price levels how much quantity produced by the firm that's on, that is only showed by the supply curve of a firm supply curve of a firm once again i repeat we were we already discussed about the meaning of supply the supply is nothing but quantity of a commodity which the sellers are willing and able for offer to sale willing and able to offer for sale offer for sale at a particular time and particular uh, price particular period of time and particular price so that was the meaning of supply and also we discussed about the supply curve of a firm with help of the diagram also we discussed supply curve of a firm so supply curve of a firm shows the levels of output levels of output produced by the firm levels of output produced by the firm at different price levels okay different price level so this was explained by the supply curve of a firm actually this supply depends upon few factors sometimes supply will be increased sometimes supply will be decreased so why because of the there are so many reasons we can call like determinants of supply determinants of supply so determinants of supply today's topic the determinants of supply the determinants of the firm supply is nothing but which are helpful to the increase of supply which are helpful to the decrease of the supply sometimes supply will be increased sometimes supply will be decreased why because of there are so many reasons under that we have to discuss few determinants determinants nothing but which considers increase of the supply and decrease of the supply which increases the quantity of the supply okay which decreases the quantity of the supply on the basis of few determinants only sometimes we will increase the production sometimes we will decrease the production the production may be increased because of few reasons okay so the, the production of the commodity will be decreased because of some reasons so what are the reasons that is only we can discuss we will discuss about the determinants of firm's supply curve okay determinants of the firm's supply curve the supply curve will be shift see actually the supply curve okay so this is the supply curve this is the supply curve sometimes if the production increase if the supply of the firm increases the supply curve will shift rightward that is s1 s1 if the supply will be decrease if the supply will be decrease that time the supply will be shift leftward this is s2 s2 and understanding if the quantity of the commodity increases the supply of the quantity of commodity increases supply curve will be shift from left to right so this is increasing this is decreasing this is the original supply curve this is the original supply curve when the quantity of the commodity increases when the production of the quantity of commodity otherwise supply of the commodity increases at that time the supply curve will shift uh, like a, a rightward supply curve will shift right but you can observe here this is a right one this is a left one right okay here this is the right one this is the left one when the supply curve increases when the supply of the commodity increases that time this will be increase from uh, uh, shift to ss to s1 s1 ss to s1 s1 when the supply of the commodity decreases that time the supply curve will shift to leftward shift to leftward from uh, ss to s2 s2 
right okay determinants of the forms of life we have to observe two first one is technological progress first one is technological progress okay second one is input prices very important input prices so what are they they are very important first one is technological progress second one is input prices so what is the meaning of technological progress and what is the meaning of input prices we have to discuss because of these reasons only because of these determinants only because of this only the supply curve will shift rightward and supply curve will shift leftward don't forget rightward means increase of the supply leftward means decrease of the supply quantity of the supply decreases when the supply curve shift rightward when the supply curve shift rightward that time the quantity of supply will be increase when the supply curve shift leftward okay leftward that time the quantity of supply will be decrease so because of these two important reasons only the supply curve will shift rightward or leftward then what is the meaning of technological progress with every improvement in a technology as usual technology is very important uh, concept so it is also playing very important role in the uh, production of the commodity because if the technology is good we can produce more goods and services if the technology is not good that i am not produce goods and services much okay suppose uh, for example tools technology like uh, modernized tools specialized tools uh, like uh, capital equipments raw materials okay if the, we are getting uh, these things uh, at less prices at less prices otherwise if the technology you know that very well uh, the machineries can work uh, like uh, at a time uh, 100 100 people work only it can work uh, instead of uh, using the people the machine only can uh, complete the work okay when the people are doing work or will finish their work uh, like uh, it will, they will take two days a time they within one day only the machinery the machine will uh, complete the work okay in this situation if we are using modernized technology modernized technology that time uh, it is uh, decrease the uh, production of cost decrease the production of cost and also we can uh, produce more and more we can produce more and more when the technology is good that is raw materials then capital equipments and also uh, like uh, specialized tools specialized tools when we are using modernized technology instead of using like people uh, like uh, uh, we are using uh, modernized new machineries machinery tools new equipments okay new capital equipments when we are utilizing this that time production will be fast and uh, it will be more when the production is increased that time because of technological progress because of technological progress the production will be increasing that time the supply curve will shift rightward the supply curve will shift rightward don't forget it will come for one mark for uh, fill in the blanks because of some technological progress it will come for uh, either uh, choose the correct answer or fill in the blanks some technological progress don't forget some uh, some uh, technological progress when the technology will be increase when the technology will be increase that is capital equipments raw materials modern aspects when we are utilizing these things in the production definitely the supply curve will shift rightwards why because supply will be increase why we are using modern as technology because of technological progress only the supply curve will be shift uh, like uh, rightward okay this is called as supply Uh, like uh, increase of the supply increase of the supply suppose if the technology is less if the we are using still uh, old model technology we are not using modernized technology we are using like uh, uh, ancient uh, technology only we are using like old technology that time definitely it will consume more time and also it will consume uh, more money okay and also it is uh, it is not possible to reach what is the goal of the firm that time automatically the production will be less the supply will be less when the technological progress is not good when the uh, not using the modernized technology in the production that time the supply will be less so that is called only supply curve will shift from left to sorry uh, from right to left when the technological progress is less that means we are not using in the 
production which one no, we are not using modern technology modernized technology in the production like capital uh, equipments like tools specialized tools raw materials when we are not using modernized tools in the production that time uh, cost of the production will be more cost of the production will be more otherwise it will consume more time it is not possible to reach our aim or goal that time the production will be less production will be less so that is you can express that the supply curve will shift uh, uh, to the leftward the supply curve will shift to the right uh, leftward why why it is leftward because because of the some technological reasons because of the technological reasons the marginal cost will be increase marginal cost will be increase when the marginal cost will be increase even total cost also increase when the marginal cost increase total cost also increases okay so this time the firm will uh, face the uh, like a loss situation that's why automatically you will stop the production or you will uh, less the production so that time the supply curve will shift leftward if the technological progress is good the supply curve will shift rightward don't forget if the technological progress is not good that time supply curve will shift leftward that means supply will be less if the technological progress is very good we are using modernized tools in the production that time the supply curve will shift rightward okay it is also one of the important determinant to increase or decrease the supply so that's why we are called like determinants of firm supply curve if the supply curve shift rightward means we are using much important like uh, much modernized technology that is technological progress also very important it is playing very important role in the production of the commodity otherwise increase or decrease of the supply okay second one is input prices don't forget this is technological progress this is second one input price input prices means a change in input prices also affects the firm supply curve especially input prices input prices like that is uh, land labor capital so what we are using inputs like land labor capital organization only so these are called as inputs land labor capital uh, because of changes in prices of labor or wages of labor because of changes in the wages of labor suppose if the laborers are asking more money to work in the production process that time the producer should pay more and more money to the laborers when he has to pay more and more money to the laborers that time he will be get loss he will be get loss that time the supply curve will shift left side are understanding because of the input prices because of the input prices okay because of the input prices input prices means land labor capital so suppose if we we should pay more and more rent to the using of labor that time the cost of production will be increase cost of production will be increase because because of rent because of wages see when these things are increases rent to the land wages to the labor if the situation is creates like that if we should pay more and more rent to the land and if you pay more and more wages to the laborers that time the cost of production will be increases when the cost of production increases that means the marginal cost and total cost also increases so this situation when the cost of production increases marginal cost also increases even total cost also increases definitely it will uh, brings loss to the producer that time the producer will stop the production of the commodity that time supply will be less supply will be less that time the supply curve will shift leftward the supply curve will shift leftward okay don't forget when the supply will be less why they are uh, decreasing because because of the input price input price means rent to the land uh, wages to the labor when we should uh, uh, when they are asking more when it's uh, necessary to pay more that time the cost of production is increase cost of production increase means even marginal cost also increase total cost also increase when both are increasing definitely it will be loss to the uh, like producer that time he will decrease the production of the commodity automatically the supply of the firms supply of the firms will be decrease so that time the supply curve will shift left for at the same time if the less in the input prices less that time not necessary to pay more then there are less in the rent less in the wages that time 
automatically the production will be increased, supply will be increased, the quantity of supply will be increased, uh, the firm supply will be increased. That time the supply curve will shift right. Why? Because of less of input prices, you can uh, that time the module cost also less, even uh, our total cost also less. This time we will produce more and more goods and services. Even the supply of the commodity like uh, firm increases, the supply curve will be increases. When the supply curve increases, that time the supply also increases. When the input prices are less, the supply curve will shift rightward. When the input prices are more, when the input prices are more, supply curve will shift left. Okay, supply curve will shift left side because because of the more input prices, we should pay more. That time, the automatically the firm's production will be less because the total cost, margin cost, both are increased. Automatically, producer will uh, stop the production. That's why supply of the commodity will be less. Because of technological progress, we are utilizing more and more technology that time the supply curve will shift right forward. We are using more technology that time the supply curve will be shift left. Okay. If the supply curve is right forward, that time the supply is more. Okay. If the supply curve is shift left, that time the supply will be less. So this is determinants of firm supply curve. Very important. When the technological progress is good, it will be capital equipments, tools, specialized tools. Uh, raw materials, the, these are all things are very good, modernized, we are using the production that time, the quantity of the commodity, otherwise the supply of the commodity will be increased, that is shift right on. There is no quantity, uh, there is no new technology adopted in the production, we are using still old model, like uh, old technology that time the supply curve will be shift leftward. The same time, if the input prices are more, which, which one, like uh, transportation cost, uh, like uh, fuels, electricity, uh, then the raw materials, and also rain and like wages. If the price of these things increases, the supply curve will be left only. Why? The cost of production will be more. That time is not ready to produce more. So definitely you will get the loss. That's why you will stop the production, otherwise decrease the production. That time the supply curve will be shift left side. If the price of less Input prices is less, for example, rent is less, wages is less, transportation cost is less, fuel is less, raw materials is less, price of these things will be less, that time the producer will produce more. Okay, when these are all things less, cost of production also less, marginal cost also less, total cost also less, that time the production curve, the like supply curve will be uh, shift right side, supply curve will be shift right side. Okay, these are very important for four marks, including one mark. Which are that is determinants of firm supply curve. Either the increase or decrease of the supply, there are two important reasons. One is technological progress, another one is input prices. Another simple topic is there that is unit tax. Okay, it will come for fill in the blanks. Just only simple concept unit tax. Unit tax is a tax that is the government imposes per unit sale of output. The government imposes per unit sale of output. Okay, unit tax is nothing but it is a tax that the government imposes. The government imposes per unit sale of output. Don't forget per unit sale of output. The government imposes per Unit sale of output. Very important for uh, fill in the blanks. Unit tax is nothing but it is a tax that the government imposes per unit sale of output. Per unit sale of output, and these are determinants of firm supply curve. Okay. Okay, after this, determinants of supply curve and unit tax. Unit tax is nothing but it is a tax that is the government imposes per unit sale of output. Per unit sale of output. Okay, this will come for four marks. This will come for one mark. Another one that uh, when the technology progress is good, that time the supply curve will shift rightward. That is also come for one mark. Uh, so when the input prices are more, that time supply curve will be left side. That is also will come for one mark. Okay. So remaining we will discuss in next class. Thank you.